Hello, IT. Have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> okay, well, are you sure that it's plugged in? Hey, everyone. Have you ever had a major studio technical downtime or an outage, and you're wondering why isn't IT letting us know what's going on? Well, I'm going to tell you the secrets behind why IT isn't necessarily informing you as fast as you want. And at the end of this short video, I'm going to give you a couple of tips that's going to help you deal with your IT staff so they are more willing to help you and communicate with you when there's a problem. Right now, I cut the jail. You know what would be awesome is if you subscribe to my channel and share this video on social media. Thanks. So here you are, you're pushing your deadline for your show, and all of a sudden there's some major outage like the render farm or the storage goes down or nobody can launch any applications. And you're wondering, why won't IT tell me what's going on? So I wanna give you a little insight as to what's going on in IT when those problems are happening and why you maybe need to wait just a little longer for an update. A YouTube channel that I'll sometimes watch is 74 Gear. It's actually a 747 pilot, Kelsey, and he talks about different things about flying and aviation. One thing Kelsey is always pointing out is when there's an emergency up in the air that a pilot has to first aviate, then navigate, and finally communicate. And your IT professional is likely holding themselves to that same standard. When there's a major outage going on, your IT professionals are likely most importantly focusing on keeping the system going. That is, whatever is running or operational, we have to keep that operational. Next, they need to navigate or they need to figure out what's going on. And while they're trying to figure that out, they're often not communicating. They're spending all of their energy diving into logs, checking if servers are up, whatever the specific problem is, they're navigating that problem and trying to come up with a solution. Then finally, once they have a handle on what's going on, they're gonna communicate it. If they communicate too early, it's not really gonna help you. If you already know that the system is down. They've told everyone that uh, perhaps you, you can't log in right now or you can't launch any renders. Letting you know five minutes later that they still don't know what's going on doesn't really help you very much. And although it might give you some sense of where this is going, uh, it's a big price to pay for a, a system administrator to walk away from a problem and trying to solve that problem just to let you know that they still haven't solved the problem doesn't really help anyone. I know how much you want that update, but that's not always available. Anyone who's worked with me in the studios has known, especially in those most recent years, that I was the person mailing out to the studio when there was downtime. I tried to be really, really communicative. And I think it's really important that someone within the organization is assigned the task of communicating. That way, the system administrators and engineers don't have to spend their time typing up emails and talking to production. There is a role for that. And at times, you know, after 20 minutes, an hour, communication does need to go out, even if it's just a status quo update. But it's going to take a little while sometimes for IT to get that update. Another reason they may not be sending it out an update is they don't want to create undue fear in the production environment. It's really scary sometimes being in information technology departments. When you have your hands inside these racks and inside these systems and you're logged in with root access to basic operational systems that are controlling the whole studio, it can be a little scary. Have you ever sent an email with a typo? Have you ever maybe uh, misspoken in a meeting and, and said the wrong thing? Well, if a programmer or a system administrator or a network administrator does that, when they're inside, uh, say, a specific configuration screen, it could bring the whole studio down. We understand that there's a lot of scary stuff going on inside a data center and inside some of these uh, configuration screens and menus. And uh, we would always don't want to pass that fear that we're feeling onto the client. For instance, we might be checking and concerned that we may have lost production data. Is that something you really want to say to production? We might have lost production data when you're still not sure. It's better for you to take a few extra minutes, confirm if there's lost data or not. And if it turns out the data wasn't lost, production never needs to hear how scared you were. So it's inherently a very scary job sometimes being in IT. Your hands are always touching critical systems. Whenever you're reaching in to unplug uh, the power from a critical server, it's sitting there along all the other power plugs for all the other critical servers. You have to be really, really careful. You can understand there's just this fear factor involved in being an IT professional and you have to seem confident and you've got to exude confidence. You don't really want to 
communicate all of that fear down to the production community. It's, it's, it's even worse for the production community because they don't have the knowledge of how to overcome that problem. And finally, like I said, I want to tell you about a couple of things that will help you communicate better with your IT staff. One is try not to tell them what the source of the problem is, but tell them the symptoms that you're having. Now, what do I mean? The probably most common example is, hey, the network is running slow. We hear that almost every day in an IT department. It drives the network administrators mad because it's often not the network that's slow. In most of these studios, the network itself, the actual switches and on, and on the network, they're usually the most robust part of the whole chain. Uh, they can usually handle a lot of throughput and it's rare that the network equipment, the network itself is slow. Often what you're experiencing is a server giving you slow results. So your, you know, your results are slow or perhaps uh, the disc is running slow. So all the artists are feeling that everything seems to be running sluggish, but it's not the network. Now I know it's just a matter of semantics, but if you're trying to win over IT, running to the first IT professional you say and saying the network is slow or the network is is down is not going to win you any friends or gain any um, confidence of the IT team when in fact it's rarely that the network is down or the network is slow. So try to avoid that term, the network is slow. Try to think about explaining what it is that you're having a problem with. Like, hey, I'm logged into Shotgun, but everything seems to be running slow. Or hey, all my artists are saying that their applications are running really slow or it's taking really long to load a scene. Whatever the actual symptom is, that's a much more helpful thing to tell your IT professional than to try to tell them what the source of the problem probably is, which is the network is down or some blanket statement like that. So try to avoid that. And that also leads to uh, server down. You'll hear that term a lot too. Say the farm is down or uh, the, the um, you know shotgun is down. It's often not down. And the first thing you'll hear back from a, an IT professional is they'll ping the server. The server pings back the server is not down, they'll often tell you. And that can create sort of anger and confusion when the client is yelling, hey, the server's down. And the first answer from the IT professional is, no, it's not down. Even though technically it's up, clearly the customer base is unable to use the product. Again, try not to say things are down or try to explain the absoluteness of it. Just explain to them what the symptom is and let them, like a doctor, tell you what the problem likely is. It works a lot better in the relationship and giving them more symptoms or telling them more things that aren't working really does help them. So feel free to over communicate that, hey, we're also seeing people in this part of the building don't seem to see the problem, but these people in the other part of the building see that, seem to have the problem. This stuff is very helpful. And finally, don't forget your IT folks. If you're in production and maybe there's a whole bunch of extra pizza or maybe you guys are gonna have a party, think about inviting some of your IT staff. I know for the bigger shops, that can be a pretty large technology crew, but the more that you can, um, you know, throw a little something towards the IT staff. They're often last on the list. Uh, and when you can make sure that they're included in maybe a beer party or maybe some extra cake, or if there's a whole bunch of food left over after craft service, maybe before letting the whole company know that there's extra food, maybe let the IT staff know first occasionally. These types of goodwill uh, measures go a long way when it comes to winning over the camaraderie of the IT staff and having a good working relationship. Throw them a bone whenever you can. It's a hard job and it's pretty unforgiving. Keep in mind that your IT staff have no end to a show. A lot of people in production have an arc. A show starts up, then it starts to ramp up, then it gets really crazy, then it's finally finished. And it sort of has this bow that gets tied on it as people kind of come off this crazy rush or as they start to ramp up. With IT, it never ends. With IT, they're gonna to start today with a whole lot of trouble tickets, and as the day grows, they're gonna knock some out and more are gonna show up. And when they go home, there's gonna be a big pile of tickets staring at them when they go home, and a big pile of tickets staring at them when they come in in the morning. It never ends. And just because your show is finally ramped up, well, they just probably dealt with three other shows that just finished ramping up. So it really does never end for IT. And it's often helpful to keep that in mind that the cycle is a daily cycle with IT, not a show cycle so uh, in the name of empathy try to keep that in mind when you're dealing with your IT staff all right that's enough I'll let you go thanks for listening and try to think your IT staff whenever you can it's a hard job out there and they're the ones keeping the studio running for you see ya